All right, guys and girls, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Got a really good one for you today, so stick around. I'm going to show you the best way to live stream to multiple accounts using a GoPro. So let's crack on. So the first thing you're going to want to do is attach your GoPro to the Mac. This is the only bit of the setup that you have to pay for, really. So grab yourself a cam link. They're not very expensive, just over £100, I think. And then you'll be able to live stream using your GoPro. Get your cam link, and that will provide a connection from your GoPro into your Mac or PC. So let's just plug that in. We now have our GoPro plugged into the Mac via the cam link. So once you're in your computer, you're gonna go onto Google, other search engines are available, obviously, and you're gonna type in OBS Studio. You're gonna open up the OBS Studio website and you're gonna download OBS onto your Mac or PC, okay? Now I've already done it, so I'm gonna close this down and I'm gonna open up my OBS. Okay, so now on our screen, we have OBS Studio GoPro plugged in via the cam link. Perfect. Then you're gonna to go to plus in your sources and you're gonna to go to video capture device. We're gonna name it GoPro and we're gonna hit okay. And then from the device list, we're gonna choose Camlink 4K, okay? And as you can see, my GoPro is now a bit of a time lag on it. Now, if I chose FaceTime HD camera, then that'd be the camera here, okay? But I don't want that one. I want my GoPro there, okay? And we're gonna use the highest resolution settings, okay? And we're gonna click OK. Okay, so there's our camera set up. My GoPro is now coming through my OBS studio. Apologies for the fan on my Mac. It's the loudest fan in the world. This is a 2013 Mac, I think, so it's getting quite old now. I really should sort the fan out at some point. If anyone knows the best way to sort this, then please tell me in the comments below, because it's doing my head in. Anyway. I hope it's not too distracting. We have my GoPro now going in through my Mac. Seamless, see, cam link straight in. No issues there at all. Okay, so next thing we're gonna go to plus and we're gonna go to display capture. Uh, let's call it Restream for reasons that we will go into in a minute and click okay. Display, change the crop to window, click okay. Bosh. Now we've got a restream display screen and my GoPro. Okay, so let's just make me a bit smaller. Just so you can see the rest of the screen and what's going on. Okay, so now we've got GoPro, Cam Link, Mac, through OBS, we've got the GoPro and a capture screen. Okay, so what do we need next? Let's add some overlays for when we go live. Really simple to do. So we're just gonna go to the plus sign again, go to image, find your PNGs. So I've got some saved in my downloads folder, I believe. And there's the first one. So I'm gonna bring that in. Okay. I'll probably put that down in the bottom corner. Just make yourself a bit smaller as well so you can see what is going on still. Okay, and then I'm just gonna import one more. So I'm gonna go to the plus. I'm gonna go to image. Okay, I'm gonna find the other image. My Facebook PNG. And we'll just have that up in the top corner where it is basically. So I'm just gonna click OK. So when I go live, we've got some nice overlays for our live stream. GoPro, Cam Link, OBS, overlays, capture screen. Cool. So you're with me so far, good. Next thing we're gonna do is go to settings, okay? And here we're gonna click on stream. And we're gonna choose restream from our drop down list. And then it's going to ask us to connect our account. Now, if you haven't set a Restream account up yet, then please do go and set one up. It's really simple. You're just going to go to our friend Google again. I type in Restream. Bosh. 
I'm going to go to the Restream website. I'm going to go to Get Started Now. And if you weren't already, it would ask you to register with your email address, free of charge, and then you would get to this screen. Now, lucky for you, not only do you get the free version, but if you use the link in the description below, you can try out the paid version for a month. So you get all the features in the paid version as well as the free version features. So you get some branding features and all that sort of thing. If you want to find out a little bit more about Restream, then please do check out this video here. So from here, this is where you add your accounts. So I've already got my Facebook added. So maybe I want my YouTube. So these are all the different platforms here, really nicely laid out and you can live stream pretty much anywhere. Okay, so let's add my YouTube account. So let's click on YouTube, connect to YouTube, choose an account, allow. Okay, save. And as you can see now, we've got my Facebook account linked and my YouTube account linked. So when I go live, it will go live to both of these accounts. Now you can add loads more. So you can add your Twitter accounts, your LinkedIn accounts. You can stream to all of them at the same time. It's a powerful tool, this Restream, so do check it out for sure. Not only that, but when you go live, you can share a link and you can go live to other people's accounts as well as your own. So you can 100 times your audience. Check out this video here, show you how to do it. It's really simple, amazingly powerful tool, Restream. At the moment we've got Facebook, YouTube, you could add more. We're just gonna leave it at those two for now. Okay, so that's all set up on Restream. Let's go back to OBS. So now we're gonna connect my Restream account. Connect account, put in my details. No one can see. Okay, then it's asking, do you want to authorize OBS Studio to use your account? You're going to go allow and then click OK. And now you're going to get some widgets pop up, OK? So this widget here, this is where all your chats are going to appear. So any chats you get on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, or whichever accounts you're streaming to will appear in this little chat window here. You've got your two streaming platforms, and if you decided, oh, actually, I don't want to stream to Facebook, turn Facebook off, turn it back on again, turn YouTube off, turn it back on again. So you can choose which platforms you're going to live stream to. You can give the stream a title, let's just call it test. Okay, you can move all these widgets around so you can still see what you're doing. And then all you would do is go to start streaming, bosh, and off we go. You can see. Facebook is now online and YouTube is now online because it is connected via Restream. Okay, so let's just stop that for now. And they're both offline again. There you go. There's the best way to live stream using your GoPro. Straight in via a cam link. It's just over a hundred pounds, dollars. Into OBS Studio, free in via Restream, which is free. There is a paid version, but that is also free at the moment. Use the link in the description. Then you can live stream to all your accounts. You can stream to other people's accounts, up to 100 other accounts using Restream pairs. So check that video out for sure. GoPro, OBS, Restream, really good little setup. So highly recommend it. I really do hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. It shoots me up the old YouTube algorithm so that other people can find this video and hopefully they'll find it useful. Uh, leave me a comment below if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below and I will answer them for you. I read and reply to every comment, I'm good like that. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel. It's a good one, it's useful, loads of editing tutorials, gear tutorials, everything filmmaking, community starting to grow, so really do appreciate each and every one of you, but it'd be great to have some nice faces, nice faces, new faces on board and nice faces, nice new faces on board. So that's it for this one. If you've got GoPro, definitely check this out and uh, let me know how you got on and I'll catch you in the next one.